In this video, we're going to cover five questions to determine where God is working. And that's your blank for your notes, five questions to determine where God is working. These are so important. Do you have any kind of spiritual belief? That's the first one. What do you believe? Now, that might seem like a daunting question. Again, remember where this comes in. You, we probably won't sit down with somebody right off the bat and say, so what do you believe? They might, they might look at you and say, believe about what? We're, these questions come as we are developing a conversation, as we're talking to somebody, asking about, hey, so where do you go to church? And they say, well, you know, I go to such and such churches. Oh, really? Okay. So, so what do you believe? What do you believe about God? That's taking the conversation just a little bit deeper. Do you have any kind of spiritual belief? That's the first one. Here's the next one. Again, these get a little bit deeper as, as we go along. To you, who is Jesus? Or you might say, what do you think about Jesus? Who do you think Jesus is? And we're not asking it in a, in a trivia sense, but we're asking it in the sense of, what do you believe? What do you believe about Jesus? And we want to especially turn to Jesus because that's who we're trying to share. That's who we want to talk about because Jesus is the one who saves. And people must know Jesus. They must believe in Jesus. That's very clear in the Bible. Here's another one. And these are in no particular order. Do you think that there's a heaven and hell? What do you think about what happens when we die? Is there a heaven? Is there a hell? What do you believe? And we're asking to understand where they are, to understand what they believe. In that way, we can, we can share the Bible, share Jesus, and say, you know, here's what the Bible says. This is how I got saved. I believed in Jesus because he died for me. He died to pay for my sins. And I found out that the Bible says in such and such a verse that Jesus is the only way to heaven. Maybe you point them to John 14, 6, and you look at John 14, 6 with that person. Here's another one. And this is very direct. This is, this is a good one. If you died right now, where would you go? After we've asked about their, their belief about heaven and hell, about what happens when we die, you might ask them, if you died right now, where would you go? And that's going to really get to the heart of the matter about what they believe. Now, here's, here's a key thing. There's kind of a, a sub-question that goes along with this. If somebody says, well, you know, I think I'll go, I'll go to heaven. You want to ask this in the right way, but essentially you're asking, why do you think that? Uh, why do you think God would let you into heaven? You want to ask it in, in a good tone, a good way where it's, we're not, our goal is not a confrontation. Our goal is not a fight. That's, that's not it at all. There are times to, to be direct, but in the vast majority of the cases, as I've talked to people about Jesus, uh, a lot of people aren't super sure of what they believe. And so we're just asking to, to find out where they're at, to find out a little bit about them, about what they believe, so that we can share God's truth. And, you know, a lot of folks might answer that in, in a way like this. They might answer saying, well, you know, I'm a pretty good person. I do, do, um, a, I do a lot of good stuff. Now, you don't want to jump in and say, well, that's wrong. You know, it's not works that save. But you want to say, oh, okay, okay. And then if, what we're going to be doing is we're going to, again, turn from what they believe to what the Bible says. And we're going to share Jesus. Finally, and this is a good one. As you've asked these questions, you can ask this or ask something like this. If what you believe were not true, would you want to know? If, you, if what you believe were not true, would you want to know? That's a powerful question because it really gets folks thinking. Would I want to know? What, what, what if what I believe is not true? What, what, what does this person what does this person have? What are they? What are they? What are they? What do they know? What do they believe? That's the, those are the things that are going to be uh, coming up in people's minds, and so we can ask these questions to get to Jesus, to get to the Bible, and say, well, you know, here's what the Bible says about salvation. And then where are we going? We're going right to that faith outline: forgiveness available, impossible, turn heaven. And so we might ask somebody, if what you believe were not true, would you want to know? And they say, well. You know, I, yeah, I would want to know that. You say, well, you know, can, you mind if I take a few minutes and, and tell you about what God did in my life and what the Bible says 
about how a person can know for sure that they're going to heaven when they die. Would you like to know? And more than likely, they're, they're going to say, yeah, sure. And that's where we go, okay, well, it all starts off with forgiveness. Everybody needs forgiveness. You know, the Bible says that everybody has sinned against God. Everyone has done wrong, and we need forgiveness of our sins. You see how we're, we're turning that conversation. We're not going to argue with what they believe. We're not going to fight with them about what they believe. But we're going to go to the Bible and say, well, you know, here's what the Bible says. This is what God says. And that's where we are turning to. All right, before we go to the next session, you are doing so well. We're got, we've gotten through two sessions. Before we go to the next session, let's review the faith outline. Here we go. All right, say it with me. I know we're going to do the awkward thing. We're going to do the weird thing. Say it with me. Faith. F stands for what? Forgiveness. A, available. I, impossible. T, turn. H, heaven. There you go. Keep working on it. You have got the plan down. Keep working on that plan, and we'll get into the next session. 